Well, we are certainly getting used to wild nights of weather, but monsoon 2017 produced something a little unexpected for us here in southern Arizona. A tornado touched down in Marana last night. For more on this and how it happened, let's get over to meteorologist John Patrick. Yeah, guys, so it, it's the first tornado reported in the Tucson area since about 2015. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. Yeah, so it's been a while. It doesn't happen very often. Now, it wasn't your EF5 Midwest tornado, but yeah. it was a tornado nonetheless. We call them land spout tornadoes. They actually start with circulation on the ground and get pulled up toward the cloud. A typical tornado that you would see over in the Midwest starts from the cloud and goes down to the ground. But still, uh, the National Weather Service office here in Tucson conducted a storm survey up in the Marana area today. They did give it an EF0 rating with a peak wind gust of around 65 miles an hour. It was on the ground for about five minutes from 655 to 7 o'clock yesterday evening. And here we go again. Strong storms moving through sections of Tucson once again, seeing some very heavy rain, a lot of lightning, loud thunder out there right now, especially on the south side of town. Heavy rain coming down along Valencia over toward I-19. This is stretching up through the Tucson estates, starting to move over into the Picture Rocks area right now as all this drifts off to the southwest at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. You can see the back edge of the heaviest rain right now, clearing sections of I-10, but we are still tracking another round of showers and thunderstorms moving in from the east side. So if things have quieted down in your neighborhood right now, you could get another little burst of rain here over the next 20 minutes or so. And we're seeing this line of storm stretch all the way down into sections of Santa Cruz County, starting to move into Sonoida Elgin uh, as we speak. And we've got a lot of lightning going on uh, with this line of storms right now. I'm going to see if I can put this lightning query uh, on this thing right now and, and see how many lightning strikes we can pick up here. Maybe there we go about 76 lightning strikes in that box alone in the last half hour or so. And I kind of missed this big cluster here down in the Wachuca. So we're going to try that again. There we go in that cluster right there about 45 lightning strikes in the last half an hour and we still have strong storms western sections of Arizona. So a very active night of weather. I would expect this to kind of wind down here though after midnight tonight and we'll see if we can reload things again for an active day of weather heading into tomorrow. I mean, we do have a pretty prime setup right now. High pressures right over the Las Vegas area, and we also have an upper level disturbance that's moving through northern sections of Mexico right now, and you can kind of see that spin right there in northern Chihuahua. As this storm system kind of moves off to our south over the next couple of days, it's going to give us that added boost of uh, energy to get these showers and storms going. So this is our high resolution model, kind of tapers things off at around 2 a.m. tonight, and I think we'll reload things enough tomorrow for another active day of weather, depending on if we wake up to plenty of sunshine tomorrow. If so, we'll put the monsoon prediction index about a 5 out of 10 strong damaging wind gust possibility tomorrow along with periods of heavy rain. So 50-50 shot at showers and thunderstorms both Sunday and Monday before we tune things down a little bit by the middle of next week. And look at those highs there, guys. Mid to upper 90s for the next six days. Feeling pretty good with the storm chance right now every day. Yeah, it's yeah. nice to get out of those triple digits. Yeah, I'll take, right. the storm, I'll take the storms over the heat. Oh, yeah. Yes. Loving it. Me too.